Do you find your light switch boring? So today we got you covered. Let's go. Just open up the steampunk model in Prusa Slicer. As you can see, there are a lot of tiny pieces. So today I'm going to show you how to print them without any errors. So let's go. First off, we're going to rearrange all of the models because they're all together in the plate. So after rearranging, this is the arrange that Prusa um, recommends us. But there are some things we're going to have to do. Right here in this piece, the best orientation is like this. So we don't have to spend an, um, lots of support in these pieces right here. So um, let's rearrange it again. Okay, so this rearrange is fine. These pieces right here, as you can see, by using the place to face, you're going to select this region right here. So it doesn't need that much support and increases the bad adhesion um, down there. So what you got to do is analyze which is the best face. The best face to put on the table is the one that it's going to increase the bad adhesion and will need less support to print. So in this case right here, this is not a good orientation. So what we're going to do is place on face and we're going to do this to all of the pieces. OK, so I did to most pieces right here and these vertical pieces, I recommend to put right. So you don't have to spend any support and will print just fine okay this one right here too this is really good this is a good orientation for all our pieces so by taking a look at all the pieces in the plate we can see that this one is the only one that needs support right here under the piece so we're going to start by painting on support we're going to increase the pen tool size so we can print, uh, so we can paint it quicker. So you can do a rough paint because this um, side is going to be, uh, it's not going to be visible. Once you stall this in your light switch, you cannot, you're not going to be able to see. So we're going to make sure that the supports are easy to remove. Even if it leaves some scars and some inconsistency in the print, you're not going to be able to see. So it doesn't affect, it doesn't really matter that much how you paint it. Okay, just to make sure that's going to print the other layers correctly. So after we painted the supports, we're going to go right here to the support material. And we're, gonna, we're not going to auto-generate supports because we painted it. And we're going to change some of these configurations. In style, we're going to change to organic. Right here in top contact um, content Z distance, we can leave as at a 0 0.2. Um, as you can see, pattern spacing, you can increase this to 3, 3.0. In support on build play only, you can activate it. It won't matter that much because we already painted, um, we painted the supports under the piece. so. It's not going to affect or anything. And right here in top interference layer, we're going to reduce to one layer only. This is going to make sure that we're it's easier to remove the supports. So we can go back to layers and parameters. We're going to reduce this to 0 0.18. So we got a better quality in the um, uh, tiny pieces that we have to print. OK, so we can go back to the print settings and we're going to increase the uh, infill density to 10 percent. And we can leave it at gyroid. Gyroid is a cool infill pattern. As you can see, we're going to print this really tall part. But if you take a look here under this piece, it's got a really low contact with the bed. 
so there is really low bed adhesion. So we're gonna add a brim to make sure we can print this piece without any errors or falling off. To make sure we have a brim just in this piece, we're gonna select it. It's the fourth piece right here. We're gonna select right button, add settings, and right here in skirt and brim, we're gonna select brim type and brim width. Okay, so it's outer brim only because there's not an inside to that piece. And brim width, you can add um, 10, 5 to 10 uh, millimeters. So in this, we're gonna select 8, okay? 8 is enough. As you can see, the motor is ready to print. We added a custom brim to this piece right here, and we added a paint support to this piece, and it's gonna be really easy to remove. It's gonna take 12 hours and 52 minutes, and it's gonna use 119 grams of filament. Happy printing to all of you guys. Stay tuned for more updates and see you then. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.